Hey everyone, Claire here, and today I am sharing a art journal page I did in 2012, I believe it was. It was for an online class I was teaching in, it was called Summer Long, and it was a lot of fun. So I'm taking my vintage ledger journal, and I'm taking the Lyra Colour Aquarelle Crayons, and they're a water-soluble wax crayon, and as you can see there, uh, as soon as you hit water with them, they really nicely uh, turn into watercolour paints. And in this case I'm brayering them because I want quite a scratchy background. And then I'm going to add some gesso and paint a thin layer of gesso over the top. This project was done for an online class that I taught in and it was really a long time ago, it's about 2012. The class was called Summer Long and it was a fantastic class, it was uh, various teachers and it lasted all summer long. It went really well and I think the people that were on it enjoyed it. But this whole video um, and the final project which this is was based around a gel image transfer and it's called a gel skin. And what you do is you take your usual laser printed image and instead of gluing it down with gel medium to whatever you're transferring it to, you make a gel slip, which you can see right there. So you take your photo, your photo image and you paint with gel medium, a liquid gel medium, horizontally, then you let it dry naturally, then you paint it on vertically so you're getting a different direction every time and then you go diagonally and go diagonally the other way and rinse and start again. So you want to do about six or seven layers of gel and once you've got them layers built up you do exactly as you would with a normal transfer. You wet the back and rub the paint off it and it's a really cool technique and I shall, um, I did do an in-depth video on it before and I do believe it is live on my channel. If it is I'll put it in the, the link in the description box. If not I will be doing a remade video because I have a much easier way to do the transfers. I use a product by uh, Tom Palisard now called uh, Palisard Image Transfer Paper and it makes it so much easier but if you don't have that this is a way around it and I'm not entirely sure if the gel slide, the water slide gel image transfer works on that paper but hopefully I'll find out soon. So you can see now that I'm uh, just gluing down my gel transfers and I'm just gluing them down with gel medium, just carefully. And I really enjoyed how this page came out. It was a day trip out that me and my other half took to, to see the um, Anthony Gormley men at Crosby Beach in Liverpool. It was such a fun day. If you ever go, it's fantastic. There's toilets there and there is a little burger van too, so you can't really, can't really lose. And it was free parking. But I don't know if it will be still now, obviously, because this was 2012. So now I'm taking a Stabilo All pencil, which were all the rage back then, and they really should still be because they're so cool. And I'm just writing with that, and then I'm going to go over with a water brush, and I'm just going to wet the writing to turn it into paint. So the Stabilo All pencil, it will write on anything, that's why it's called All, and of course it's made by Stabilo. And as soon as you wet it, it turns into paint. It's really cool. I'm not sure who uh, first started using it, but we were using it a lot back then. So once I've finished faffing and writing over the pencil to make it go jet black, I'm going to just give it a quick dry with a heat tool. And then I'm going to do my signature doodling around the edge, which I've been doing well before 2012, put it that way. I do notice that a lot of people have started doing that now. Um, I've done it for years, probably from about 2006, 2007. I've always liked doodling on things. Well, you know me if you watch my channel. So 
And then to finish it off, just do a, a few touch-ups, add a, a few details with white Posca paint marker and the black Posca paint marker. And of course, stamp it with my date stamp. I used to stamp everything I did with the date that I did it on. Um, not so much anymore. I'm not sure why the stamp's right next to me. But anyway, you change as you get as you get more uh, progressed in your art, don't you? So I hope that you've enjoyed all of these uh, old videos that I've been putting up. I found a load of old videos on a hard drive and I thought rather than waste them that I would just put them on my channel. Uh, this one was a previously uploaded one which I've had to edit because it didn't make sense and I've needed to do a voiceover on it because the voice on it didn't make sense either and I think there was some copyrighted music on it as well. But. This one has been much fun to actually go over and to rewatch because I completely, actually completely forgot doing it. So that's quite funny, isn't it, that you've forgotten what you've done. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel and to the person who keeps putting the thumbs down on every video I, I do. Thanks so much for the ad revenue because taking the time to do that gives me a nice boost on my AdSense stats. Thanks for watching. Bye.